Smack dab in the middle of Richmond's Museum District lies the Virginia Historical Society and their recent exhibit featuring some of the most unusual artifacts the nearly 200-year-old organization has to offer. Featuring everything from archaic medical apparatuses to scabs, bizarre bits, oddities from the collection contains items from deep within the walls of the society's massive collections. William Rossiman, lead curator for the exhibit, spoke about the creation of the oddities display and said that the time span of collection and lots of cross-department teamwork made it easy to create such a display. It's a way to highlight our collections in, in, in an odd way. Um, the society was founded in 1831, so the collections are vast. Um, we have some 7 million manuscripts, um, 160,000 books, 200,000 photographs, 5,000 maps, 700 paintings, 15,000 museum objects. So with that quantity collected over a long period, almost 200 years, inevitably there are going to be some things that are strange. While the initial sorting process was simple enough, narrowing down the items to fit the space provided was a practice in playing favorites. Though Jennifer Guild, media relations specialist for the VAHS, said the exhibit could have many more incarnations. We started putting together ideas for this Bizarre Bits exhibit. We pooled ideas from staff here at the Historical Society and we came up with over a hundred items that could potentially be featured in this exhibit. Weird, strange, unusual, bizarre, all kinds of different exhibits items. So when we had to pare it down and pick the items that were actually going to be in the exhibit, it turned out to be about 45 items that we could actually display in the space that we have. So potentially this exhibit could be put up again and again with all of those items that weren't included in the original exhibit. The other obstacle was defining oddities, but Rossiman followed the OED and used the broad term to fit many different possibilities. Uh, things are odd in the way we think of them today, if they're grotesque or strange looking or fantastic. But they are also, uh, a person can be odd, and an event can be odd. So we have a couple of odd people in the show, at least what Coup Contemporary said were odd, a couple of odd events. Uh, today we think a witch trial is odd. We think a, uh, a duel is odd. We think that um, jousting, dressing up like knights out of uh, Sir Walter Scott out of Ivanhoe, we think that's odd. So we've got, we've got examples of that. And then we've got just um, strange looking and fantastic objects. Another peculiar item to grace the exhibit would seem better fit in a medical museum than the VAHS, but it ended up in their archives nonetheless. It was a, a smallpox scab taken from an infant, sent by one member of the Massey family to another uh, in the late 19th century. These uh, pus-filled blisters would cover the entire body, um, and something like a third of all the blindnesses in Europe at that time were caused by, by smallpox. But, it, but there was uh, a cure for it, and you could be uh, inoculated by using a, a scab, introducing that, that scab into the bloodstream, uh, a scab from someone who's already survived it. And so it was sent by one member of the family to another. But people were scared to death. I mean, even when we talk about it today, it's, it's, it, it doesn't sound intuitive that these things would work. So people were reluctant to, to use these uh, methods to prevent um, smallpox. But there we have it, the, the scab has been saved with the letter uh, that it came with. A piece of furniture covered in sharp wood spikes stands out in the exhibit. Ed Strasdens and Barbara DuPont, down from Boston, Massachusetts, to visit their son, said... That was a little bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the name of it, Tramp. <laughs> The couple found the VAHS after a recent visit to the Museum of Fine Arts, neighbor to the Historical Society. Strasdens considers himself a bit of a history buff, but he was surprised by the collection. I mean, just like the like sign says out here, it's oddities, and you kind of walked around like, oh, this is a little bit different. This is st never seen this before, so it was kind of interesting, you know. I like the medicine uh, uh, um, tools and everything, and the, especially the thing that drilling into the head. <laughs> that was odd. Rossiman said the exhibit had been a success so far and that the concept of an oddities display puts the idea of collecting into an interesting context. I didn't know what to expect, but I, I found that this, it's, it's been a lot of fun. People uh, have enjoyed it, and it, and it, has some, um, it has some value to it, too. It makes, us, it makes us think about what we're collecting and what is odd, and, and, and um, you know, are we collecting things now that future generations are going to say is odd? And it, and it also points uh, attention at, at our collection and um, 
And, and this is the tip of the iceberg of what we have here. The exhibit runs until February 13, 2011, and is free and open to the public during normal business hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. For Richmond Independent Radio News, I'm Brad Kuttner. Make sure to check out our HD video version of the story and past stories on our blog, www.wrirnews.blogspot.com.